Well, we actually might not be measurable in terms of kgs and lbs and stuff but then attitude will measure towards the contribution to the bottom line yeah if you're how do you measure that during the interview stage that might you, you would actually know like i said when when somebody walks in into into an interview session you will almost practically detect so you're saying in essence that an entrepreneur or anyone who is hiring for a business must have a very strong power of observation. Yes, you must be observant because if you're not observant, you're probably not going to almost... Because people come into interviews and they don't tell you the old truth. And you ask them certain questions that would make them tell you what you need to hear. For instance, you want to hire a driver. You don't ask the driver, do you drink? They're going to say no. But if you ask them something like, how many bottles will you drink in which you will not be able to drive? And you're like, eh, if I drink two, I'm still okay. But I'm, I'm on top. Then you already know the idea. Yeah, you already got what you, you already want. got what you want. So you don't need to you don't need to be tricky, but you need to be direct and then just get your answers right. Basically, that's what you need to do. Would you would you say intuitive feeling is also key during hiring? I won't say intuitive, but I'd say observant. Listen to almost every word the person is telling you listen to read the expression on your face and then maybe because of my background in law you're able to almost tell when somebody's lying do you understand if you ask a question twice and the person cannot give you exact answer then there's something wrong somewhere, somewhere.